Hi, good morning. My name is, well, that doesn't really matter. I'm in the Ernest Willows, which is a weather sponge pub, bottom end of City Road in Cardiff. And the bar has just opened, although the place has been open since 7 o'clock this morning for food and endless supplies of coffee, and that was cranberry juice. And this is the first of the day. Uh, this is Gravitas by the Bale Brewery, nothing to do with the Bale of the Morgan. Somewhere in Buckinghamshire, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Nice aroma. Not great, but nice. Immediately gets on the back of the tongue. It's a sort of bitter, semi citrusy finish. I like that. 4.8% alcohol by volume. I'm thinking the plus, which is 3 out of 5. I'm going to swim all these together, stitch them up, stick them on YouTube at the end of the day. Oh yeah, 189 a pint. And I got a camera voucher, so this was a 139 a pint. Hats off to the spoons, but it is. But it is. <laughs> um, excellent value. Okay, that's it. And number two. I should point out to you that um, Wine Brewery, Bennett Lois, makers of the one called Pample Moose, are having a tap takeover in Blue Dog Cardiff tomorrow night. The wonderful Sue Haywood is there. Head Brewer. Head everything actually. And, uh, a lady who knows a lot about beers. Anyway, oh, the real chiselers here. Anyway, um, this is a half because I'm working on my uh, unique this is, I can't remember what the hell it is. Um, it is black, black champion, dark champion. It's from the Arundel Brewery, it's 3.5%. No, 3.7% alcohol by volume. I think I might have had too much coffee. Who knows? Anyway, that's my hand, that's my table. And that's the last part. It sort of tastes so fun. Very nice, it's a cross between a sort of porter and there's fruity berries. It's a B plus, it's not a great beer, but it's a very good beer. Actually, I think on untapped, I'm going to give it 3.25 because you can do that now. So get in there. Hello, Mr. Chisler. And number three, and also a half. This is Shepherd's Truck by X Valley Brewers. Notice I actually do remember the name of the beer. 4.7% alcohol by volume. It's supposed to be a big hoppy taste. I'm thinking it's more mop than hops. And it's got a sort of sweetness to it, which is quite nice. Anyway, B plus 3 out of 5. No aroma. Oh, that just could be my nose. Wipe to this outside and the flooring if Mr. Mine as well. That is rather pleasant. A sort of sweet finish to it. It's nice. <sighs> Listening to Twitch. This week in technology. This is number three. Still on halves. This is from JW Lees. This is Victory at Waterloo, which is a band to upset the French. Although, a secret feeling that we really like the French. Um, Arsene Wenger, P.Y. Jibot, from the, um, it's the O2 now, but it was the Dome or whatever it's called in London. And of course, uh, Patrick Beja, uh, Patrick on Twitter, excellent. If I'm not a gamer, you know, I uh, like his uh, thoughts, the uh, techno show. Uh, Twitter is on there. Anyway, okay, this is a disappointment. No aroma, rather watery. No real taste. 
You see, if I was drinking beer in my kindergarten, I'd get kicked out. Why are beer doesn't have any pubs? I'm a guinea. Morning, and Roger. Thanks for the mention earlier. Yeah, welcome, sir. Wow, your picture. You're looking rather blue. Anyway, uh, disappointing. Very disappointing beer. And uh, friend in South East Wales. <laughs> My barbecue stuff. It's going to be a great day. Tomorrow we're going to get a little rain. Monday will be all right, but today, have fun. Oh, you will be here. So, this is the Cambrian Tap, Caroline Street, St. Mary Street, Cardiff. It is now open. That's a wind wall. They give you fries. Cask, keg, cask. There's a lot of bottles and cans. This, I don't know if this is going to be the signature brew. This is Cambrian Pale, 4.6% alcohol by boy. Get us a pint. Well, I can't disagree with that. Um, I love the dip. Okay, however, having said that, look at my unique, so it's only half. This isn't going to be the signature brew. It's rather thin, a bit weak. If it wasn't for the citrusy hops that bring it back, I'd give it a B. I'm giving it a B plus, but I'm untapped and giving it a 2.75. However, there is some um, well beer company beers here, so not crack at those. Oh, and I'm on the Wi Fi. It's Seems okay, I haven't done a speed test yet, but uh, I'll walk down straight away. Hello from LA, and uh, from Eckley, and Darcy, from Nidloids, and Los Angeles, possibly. What do you think of the deco? Um, artisanal, I think that's the word for pubs like this. Although not quite artisanal as in boudoir style, or living tapas. That's what the real world has to be exploring. The bar. How's the weather? Yeah, it's sunny. In fact, the weather's rather sunny. It's almost like summer outside, which is unusual for this place. There's rain for your class between all the Sunday and the world. So back to the air. Uh, could do better. Which I think is... Well, when you have various different sorts, that isn't going to work if you experiment. Which I say, look at things. So, still in the Cambrian tap, and it's £2.90 for the whole. Yeah, this is the Wild Beer Company. They don't go in for clear beers, they go in for sour, poppy beers. Which I've got to be honest, I love. This is Madness IPA, 6.8% alcohol. Well, 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 pump clip, they say, hops, hops, hops. So it is. It smells of hops, it tastes of hops. It's not actually a sour, because it's an IPA in like that. It's bitter. It's great. B plus plus. Thank you, the West Country. Yeah, the the Rosen Cranberry. 